Calling any and all habit heroes. Calling any and all habit heroes. Announcer voice, what villainous monstrosity are we overcoming today? Dehydration, bad nutrition. Well, young defender, Snaggletooth is up to her old tricks once again downtown, and you need to stop her ASAP. Oh, wait, wait. Is this Habit Heroes 1.0? Yes, the one and only. I I'm sorry to break it to you. The first version of Habit Heroes, that's this one. The one that only lasted 18 days because, you know, it was pandered into oblivion by mental health experts and parents alike. No, impossible. You must be thinking about some other Epcot attraction. Food Rocks, maybe. <laughs> no, 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 no. Food Rocks uh, lasted longer than you. You're lying. What's not to love about it? Here, look at this story I just have laying around. In a world filled with bad habits that threaten our well-being and our waistlines, one band of dedicated heroes fought to keep us healthy. Here in this simple gym, they would gather to hone their skills through hard work and good, clean fun. Those days seem long gone, and the brave heroes little more than memories locked in this abandoned fitness facility. Without their help, the villains are winning the fight as innocent victims everywhere fall prey to their unhealthy ways. Oh, habit heroes, where are you when we need you most? Yeah, pre-show video nice. Habit Heroes, Soft opened in Epcot's Innoventions East, February 4th, 2012. Presented by Florida Blue Cross and Blue Shield, this interactive walkthrough, hosted by Adrenaline Field Heroes, Calisthenics, and Will Powers, not that one, the attraction was a no-IP superhero-themed experience that had guests battling it out with their own poor habits. Once leaving the pre-show, they would be ushered out to battle the villain Control Freak, no, not that one. The one that looked like one of those grotesque urban pipeline boys graphic tees from the mid-2000s. Fun fact, Disney themselves seemed pretty confused on what the final design of this one would look like. More on that later. Color-coded TVs would fall from the top of the wraparound screens, in which the heroes would have to zig and zag across the room to zap their retrospective colors. The next room was a Toy Story Mania-styled shooting room, in which our heroes battled Sweet Tooth and the Snacker, using healthy foods to destroy the cities made out of junk food. You mean... That's right. It's, it's food, food fight, fight time. time! In the final room, we dance on the sensor pads with Callie and Will in order to launch the fiendish lead bottom through the brick wall. See? Perfect attraction! Well... Do I need to show you the video God, again? please, no. So what's the problem? People stuck in their bad habits? Well, let's have a closer look at the villains. There were 25 villains listed in the now long deleted Habit Heroes website. Achilles, Bruiser, Captain Delay, Serial Killer, Control Freak, who had two different conflicting designs, Drama Queen, Duchess of Doom, The Fungus, The Glutton, Hothead, Ice Cappuccino, Insecura, Insomnia, Lead Bottom, Nicotina, The Prescriptor, Pierre Pressure, Snacker, Snaggletooth, Sonic Boom, Not the Sky High One, Stink Bomb, Stranger Danger, Stress Case, Sun Blazer, and Sweet Tooth. As one could see, not the attractive, eye-friendly characters Disney's usually known for. They represent bad habits. And that's where things went south. Many health experts, body image advocates, pediatricians, psychiatrists, parents, panned the characters for at best creating demeaning stereotypes and at worst prompting bullying, eating disorders, and even life-ending thoughts. Here are just some of the reviews found online. The people at Disney at Work wrote on their blog, it is staggering that no one said stop during that approval process. And Yanni Freehoff, a family doctor and blogger at Weighty Matters gave his own two cents. So, thanks Disney for being so helpful. I mean, if your kid's not overweight or obese, here's to Disney reinforcing society's most hateful negative obesity stereotyping. And as if they're overweight or obese, what kid doesn't want to be made felt like a personal failure while on a Disney family vacation? I don't see it. You launch 
an overweight character named Leadbottom through a wall because of his inactivity. Habit heroes are a crack squadron of healthy do-gooders! Who bully people. Let's watch the film again. No, anyways. After just days of operation, the Will Powers Gymnasium was shuttered and never reopened. Not only was Habit Heroes panned, it was even compared to Epcot's own previous health and wellness pavilion, The Wonders of Life, and deemed absolutely inferior to the previous offerings. About a year later, the second version opened, this time a reverse floor plan and simple, less controversial villains. Blocker bots blocking nutrition, sappers for inactivity, and scorchers for dehydration. Our new hero, Director Jin, with agents D, Q, and F, as seen here on this Marvel comic, because there's that count of worms now, were approved of a lot better due to Disney's outreach to children health experts this time around. Habit Heroes 2.0 then closed on January 17, 2016, to make way for newer Epcot offerings. But the true Habit Heroes could always return, right? Uh... I wouldn't hold my breath, but look, if you want heroes, just check out Marvel or Sky High or The Incredibles. If you want zany villains, Kim Possible used to have an attraction around here. Used to? Uh-oh.